G'day guys. Welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, as most of you probably remember, sorry, I'm trying to set up a table at the same time. I'm on a time crunch. I'm always on a time crunch, aren't I? Anyway, as some of you may remember, I've been having a bit of issue with the Africans by, via leaving the mouthfuls for too long and then not stripping them and then getting no fry. Um, basically the way I want to attack that is I'm probably going to start stripping a bit more regularly. Um, i.e. when I see mouthfuls. Not necessarily when I see them but like when I know they're going to spit. Um, I am going to try a little tactic to get a few more mouthfuls. I, I feel like sometimes the fish just get too comfortable in the scenery. Um, things like changing their food um, and stressing them out of everything can get them breeding. So I'm actually going to stress them out tonight. And I, I'm going to show you in this video, at towards the end of the video, what my plan is. But anyway, let's strip a couple of fish. I'm trying to see if there is a mouthful up here. Yeah, there is. Alright, I'm going to catch that girl because that's an important one and I'll show you what it is once I catch it. Alright, so that didn't go according to plan. She spat the eggs as soon as I caught her into the net. Looks like I saved about 20. I did lose some of the eggs in the tank. But I'm just going to have to show you what fish it is because I can't actually, I didn't catch it. It's actually the star sapphire female. Um, that's really cool because I've been having trouble trying to breed the star sapphires. I think, so what happened is I had like seven males, three females, and I've been selling off males and now they've started breeding. So less males means less stress on the girls. The only problem is she won't hold for a long term. So, at this stage, I've tried a few times, I've got no choice but to strip her young. So that's what we're, uh, early, not young. So that's what we're doing. Alright, I'm super stoked. I got four holding female marbles, and all four are nice, heavy density marbles. Um, basically, my point there is I wanted to like, line breed my marbles to the point that Sorry, I just threw it back. To the point that um, they're spitting fry with lots of marbling and get rid of not having fry that don't have much marbling. So hopefully I've achieved that. One of these already spat before I started. I don't know which one. Oops. I think it's going to be the last one. Oh. Fish out of water. Oh, Jesus. It's probably the nicest looking female out of all of them, and uh, they're all the fry god. This is the least marbled out of the four. It's not too bad, but definitely not as special as the other ones. All right, so in a bunch, in amongst that bunch, there is some free swimmers, so they can go in here. This tank doesn't have any fish in it at the moment. I was planning on keeping this tank for tumblers only, no fish. But, that never happens. Every time I take all the fish out, I end up putting fish back in. Oh, so, sorry it's a pretty short one, guys. There's, um, not much happening. So, what I was saying is, um, my plan to try and get a bit of breeding going is a little bit risky. So, I've turned the heater off. Um... I'm going to swing this door open now 
and leave it open for like two hours. Um, I want to bring the temperature down to like maybe 22, but the problem is because of the water volume in here and the insulation, it's going to be very hard to do. So I'm going to leave the door open for a while and then I'm going to leave the heater off until tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning before I leave for work, I'm going to turn the heater back on and we'll see if we get any breeding. Um, I don't know what's happening. Uh, we got four mouthfuls from the marbles. My marbles are usually very scarce breeders. Um, the Benga, I can kind of understand. I, I stole the um, breeder male. This guy's only just getting to breeding size. There is maybe one mouthful just freshly in there. Um, the Alunacara Code Blue, there's only just starting to be a male colouring up in there because I lost the breeder male in there. Um, the Demosoni, I, I screwed up the, the tank's happiness when I added all the fry. It, it just caused mayhem in there and I'm sure they'll get back to breeding soon. Um, the Hongi, I don't know why the Hongi aren't breeding. Um, Co the Crabro, they've never been a good breeder. I've only ever got one or two mouthfuls out of them, so I'm not shocked there. Um, the Mason Reef, I actually missed a mouthful. See that little fry there? He's about a week old, so um, I missed a mouthful there. And they're the same. I've only ever had one girl breeding in there. Um, there's actually a trophy of Mapanga Red in there. See that guy there with a the red face? Um, I threw him in there as one of the fry, and now I've realized that it's not one of them. So he's actually got to go up in that tank there. Um, the first mouthful I got from them was only like three fertile eggs, and they survived, and I threw them in with the mason reef. And I thought they all got eaten, but it wasn't until I saw the red on this guy, I was like, wait, that's not a mason reef. But I'm not worried about leaving it in there for now because um, <laughs> it's not getting killed. It's growing out and I really want to expand that colony. So it'd be good to get one that get him to a decent size before I move him to that tank. But wait, there's more guys. I was just having a gander and I spotted the Lunacara Code Blue holding. So then I went to catch her and I spotted another one holding and they're, they've got heads and tails so they're fertile which means the male has stepped up to the plate which is very exciting um, this colony I thought was still going to be a write off for a little while yet but that means that why isn't the Benga stepping, stepping up to the plate yet Alright guys, after all that we ended up with five tumblers and a tank of fry. So it really wasn't a bad haul at all really. I shouldn't be complaining. I just wish it was more variety than it was. It was only three types of fish. But sometimes shit happens. Um, I, def I don't know how I'm going to arrange the stripping in videos if I'm going to be doing it more frequently. Um, Maybe I'll record the pieces and I'll put them aside and then do a stripping video once every fortnight or something of all the different videos compiled together. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm hoping I can just go back to my old ways. I used to just strip once a fortnight and it worked well. So if everything can please just start breeding in um, the way they used to, then it would be fine. But anyway. If you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit the little red button down the bottom there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.